And how did living libations come about, Nadine? Oh, really through our union. I think we were talking one day after uh, a yoga class, and you, you, it was actually epiphany, and I think you said, I want to feed the world good things, and I want to make good things. And I was like, well, we have a, a storehouse of recipes and amazing food, and, and we even have frankincense, myrrh, and gold in our, in our pantry. So we whipped that together and made a toast, and then we started making um, these chocolate yoga truffles. That's right. These little, little, I don't even think there was chocolate in them at the time. It was these little, these little treats that I would make for my classes that I was teaching at the time in Toronto, and it just evolved and evolved from there into a full line of essential oils. And, and then you kind of brought me out of retirement. Yes, Nadine was <laughs> kind of in retirement mode. Uh, in her little apartment downtown Toronto with stuff in the closets like I'd never even heard of like 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 frankincense gold and myrrh uh, hydrosol distillates and I'm sipping frankincense and gold and I'm like wow what is this stuff and oh and then we made the fairy waters oh that's right these elixirs we would infuse um, gemstones essences and the distillate so we had um the fairy water the white um the uh water nymph the epiphany elixir yeah. and the dew drop on lotus petal elixir i think i was late for yoga class at, at that time <laughs> i was supposed to teach some class and i was yeah and i just um it i we i was there for a long time with you and we just kept making these amazing one creation after another we had the tiniest kitchen in on huron street and in that kitchen it was just non-stop nadine would be on the bed and i would be making these little <laughs> treats and everything and then when the chocolate came in oh wow we started experiencing raw chocolate um and that was a whole other venture we would always cover our lawn in rose petals Oh, yeah. And then it was just so fun because we were so encouraged and so well received by everyone we would make the creations for. Mm -hmm. And so through that love and, and reception, we just further committed to just, and our creativity is sort of like a, a raspberry bush that we, and we trim things back or simplify. We have six new creations to attend to. That's right. We ended up creating seven different flavors of chocolate <laughs> yeah. all within one week. It just kept going. We had all the ingredients there. Um, it, it was so amazing to experience something that's never been tasted before on the planet. We were making these foods that had never been combined like that. And it came from our desire to just really create real to the feel plants and botanical combinations that would like embellish and beautify and adorn people. Yeah, every part of their being it would adorn. From the essential oils to the roots and the, the adaptogenic herbs to the f selecting and sifting through all these different uh, raw cacao beans and finding the ones that work the best for us. I had no idea that, that I would be making chocolate and anything. No. I knew once I made it, I knew that I'd be eating it for the rest of my life, which we still are to this day with our chocolate breakfast and everything So like now that. I'm gonna ask you a question. Go ahead. So then, so what is Living Libations in this moment? And now Living Libations has left the, the petal, rose petaled covered lawn and is now residing in the secret land of Is. Well, Living Libations now is, um, Living Libations is... A veritable wonderland. It's a veritable wonderland. <laughs> it's as vast as this forest and as in, as intricate as the forest floor. It is. Um, it it is. The, I believe we're coming to the full manifestation of our vision, of what we are, and it seems to be growing more and more. Um, libations, living libations, is um, the outpouring. The outpouring of a nectar. Of an yes, I'll explain it. <laughs> yes, explain and it. <laughs> it's a. It's an outpouring, living libations. Okay, well, remember that, that day and you were like, hey, what should we call all these beautiful things we make? And then I, I, we were just like, hey, living libations, let's make up a little business card. And we did. And then the UPS man said, hey, what does that mean? And we were like, we have no idea. And then we looked <laughs> it up. And so it is the outpouring the of a... The liquid outpouring... Of a nectar. Of a nectar. In honor. Of a deity. Yeah. Of a deity. Yeah. 
And we feel that all the products that we make and all these creations that we make, it makes one become the outpouring itself to a higher energy. We're 90% water anyway. We're 90% water. <laughs> we are living libations. We are liquid libations. We're libating and inhaling and ingesting and exuding an exchange with the heavens and the earth. That's what libations is. Yeah. Yeah. All right.